Hello everybody and welcome back to my new corner Breath of the Wild Witch playthrough. Where last time we finally killed this guy. We had to grind for like over almost two hours. But we did it. <sighs> hey, what you doing? Are you being that bastard that hasn't subscribed yet? Well, why don't you join one of us that have subscribed? As well as that, you might as well tune down to the description down below where I have a new subreddit called... Uh, r slash realm hq other than that back to your regularly scheduled program oh, god damn it you're s god. okay i get it oh yeah he just turned into it okay This a stone. Ah, no, Captain. Don't die in this, Captain. Har. Maybe dead already. What do you mean, let's say maybe dead already? Captain! Aye, this is all you're doing, you mentally scallywags. Ah, uh, you call us thieves, you attack us, and then you have the gall to accuse us of meddling. Worms. Wait, I don't think they're bad people. Wow, we haven't been called that since we were. We, it's been a while since we've been called that land. Amazing. Aye, that it has. Remember the golden old days? Slip of the sloop. We started out pirating all them years ago. All them years back. Huh? Oh, talk amongst yourselves, why don't you? Ah, uh, remember the captain on them days? What a town. Drove us like slaves, he did. So we were, we was honored by the wizard king himself. I fear of nothing we were. Twas a golden age for men of fortune. From horizon to horizon. I would say it was a big, a big blue oyster. And we've sailed the black porpoise to the world's end and beyond. Aye. But we weren't destined to live forever. And it's cut up with us. Sure is the tide. Aye, that it did. And then we had, then we was not. But salt soaked souls becalmed the sea of the afterlife. But the captain came back to us, that is, just as we always knew. And we took to the waves once more. I ah, have a happier day I did not see. Never indeed. What more could a cut crook through I have wished for in death? Aye, we've been lucky indeed, truly. I have no regrets. Nay, not a one. I <laughs> born with the face of her. Damn it, I really... I heard. Alright, Captain, you're not done yourself. They wet me. They wet me pirate pants. <laughs> uh, so you have it, son. The three we have uh, from Lost Chant and head for the harbor. Okay. Anchors away. Well, they seem happy. Yeah, seems like things worked out for them in the end. I can think of, uh, I can think of worse ways though. I suppose you're right. You really think they're gone for good though? Somehow, they didn't seem like the types that hang up their cutlasses and set down to a nice, peaceful afterlife. I'm sure they'll go gambling at Papyrus's uh, casino. <laughs> oh god. So we gotta sail all the way over there. Okay, well we're not gonna do that. We're gonna travel to the uh, school mountain. And then we're just gonna pick up the boat from there. Mm, find out what I just earned. Nothing! Uh, Still not high enough you. level to kill y'all, or to literally get to the minimum level. That does not matter, they are all pretty much dead. Okay. 
kill Gunther. Not these guys. I want dead. Uh -huh. They're super annoying to do with. Hey, they all leveled up. Well, that's good. That means the only one that needs a uh, heal is me. Literally was almost down to the beach. Watch this. Uh, oh. Didn't I fly down? I just realized that I could have skipped all these enemies and just fucking flown down. Alright, Avengers out there. Let's see how tough these guys are gonna be. We have to make it to the middle anyway, so. Why did I take the ship? I am such a fucking idiot. There's no reason to take this ship. I don't need to find a place to land there. Just me. Well, I do need to play in a place to land. I don't need... Ah! You can lick in this fucking fly. visit this place. Mule. Mule died. I'm in the snow f uh, uh, snowfall. Wow, this place is amazing! It sure is. Look at the lights coming through the windows. Or through the snow. It's beautiful. And look at those big fluffy things! I've never seen one before! What are they? Oh, them! They're, they're called tomatoes. Tomtits? They're called tom-toms! Ain't it the- You only get them, uh, by here in the uh, winter isles. Everything else, everywhere else is too warm for them, see? Wow, they're so cute! Ah! <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they're lovely, but can we talk about uh, this inside? I can feel my uh, blood turn nice. <clears throat> I'll second that the motion. Freezing my bits off, I am. <clears throat> God, my voice. Bah. Okay, let's go inside to the inn. Just take a sleep. And then that will be technically all of them done. 240. Yeah, there we go. I'm pretty sure that's all in terms of uh, these things. Yeah, we're gonna save our progress. Into the glittering grotto. Uh, I 
I get to uh, read this? <laughs> okay, that's not supposed to be the case. It's a chair's book. I need coffee and elixirs. Do you guys sell any espressos? Oh, just for I could. Do I need to actually go. I uh, see that. Belief. Take heart. Alright, we got some belief. Okay, let's head inside. Specifically? Oh, hello to you. You are being. You are being Oliver, yes? Crikey, Oli boy. There you were with the Tom Toms for beauties, and you never even told us the secret of you. No, are uh, you, I don't. Who are you, and how do you know my name? I am learning from my teacher, yes? She is your biggest fan. She is being your biggest fan. Your teacher? Yes, my teacher. She is coming to our village to study the ancient archaeology. I am being her pupil, yes. Hello to you. I am... <sighs> I'm going to completely butcher this. Okay? You'll study... <laughs> You're studying archaeology, but you're a snow person. Yes, a tom tom. Uh, y yes, I am being Ake. Nope. <laughs> Hello there, Ake. Perhaps you'd like to introduce me to your new friend. Oh, teacher. Hello to you. You are being very late, yes? Oh, no. oh my god. Oliver! My goodness, this is such a privilege! Imagine the great wizard Oliver coming all the way out here to this frozen corner of the world. But oh, how perfectly rude of me. I must introduce myself. I am Tabitha, a researcher and professor. Uh, I've, been <laughs> I've been reading all about your exploits in the Daily Yarn. Sorry, that was just the cheeseburger. I accidentally left mine in a uh, che treasure chest. I hope nobody steals it from me. You have you're quite the news, uh, personally. The Daily Yarn, eh? That's how you Grimlikins learn about uh, learn what's going on in the world, ain't it? Hell, aren't you a little a knowledgeable little thing? Yes, Daily Yarn is the premier news provider for Grimlikin across the world. <laughs> and lately, we've been all glued to the tales of your adventure. Gee, th that's... Thank you, ma'am. It is kind of embarrassing, but thanks. What perfect nonsense. Embarrassing? Don't be silly. You're a hero. Oh, by the way, I have something to tell you. I swear if you touch a thing on my tom, -tom I'm going to slay you. I'm going to grab this nail, and I'm going to jam it. You're here in such of the magic stones to help restore your wands and form a girly. A glory, right, aren't you? How did you... Yes, that's exactly why we're here. And you're in luck. I'm a professor of archaeology. Hey, you see? And I'm going to tell you everything I know about Moonstar. Crikey, what are the chances of that, eh? How's it turn up for the books? Yeah, not at all. Now, according to my research, Moonstar was fashioned by none other than the wizard king himself. And just prior to settling down to his eternal slumber, he divided the incredible power of the wand sealed it inside the three magic stones. The stones were entrusted to his most faithful followers in order to prevent the wand's power from falling into the wrong hands. His most faithful followers, huh? Do you think that creature we found on the tombstone trail could have been one of them? Now, now, concentrate. Prepare yourself for the most important part is what I have to tell you, if my theory is correct. 
One of those followers, and the stone that they were entrusted with, is in a cave beyond this village known as the Glittering Grotto. Bingo. This, that must be where the map of the stones was pointing us to. Yeah, the map of the stones, you mean? You mean you knew precisely where it was already? So, I haven't helped you at all. How inexpressibly deployed. No, not true. We didn't know anything about the Wizard King or his followers. Or any of that stuff. Thank you, Professor. Professor Tabitha, what kind of place is this glittering grotto? Well, as I mentioned, it's a cave beyond the Yule. A cave marked as ancient on ancient maps as the Ma of the Mountain King. My theory is that the Mountain King and the Wizard King are one and the same. Anyway, the cave has the power to uh, suck objects into the darkest depths. What the fuck? Anyway, if I just were to happen to throw one of you guys down there, you probably wouldn't come back. Not without some sort of help. Which I'm sorry, but I'm not providing. It's too embarrassing for me to make it known that I could not help y'all. All of which leads me to theorize that one of the Wizard King's uh, magic stones may well be hidden in the deepest part of the grotto. Oh, I had a funny feeling about this. Yes, I'm sure you have, you great big wimp. It's going right there. Uh, no, it's not. Shut up. It's uh, trepidous and um, excitement. Before you go and run off in pursuit of the stones, you'll need the permission from the elder, village elder to enter the Grizzling Grotto. The village elder? Precisely, but he's away at a meeting at a gathering of, of the elders at the moment. You'll have to wait until tomorrow to meet him. I'm kind of hoping to accommodate you at my home, but I'm afraid there's not enough room there to swing a cat. It's okay. You've done more than enough for us already. Thank you so much, Professor Tabitha. Don't be silly. It's me who should be thanking you. It's not every day you get to provide a renowned hero with help on his legendary quest. There should be enough room for you all in, just inside the entrance to the village. I wish you a perfectly wonderful night's rest. Yeah, let's just use that and see. You there, my good sir. I don't know if I have enough. <laughs> Shell on Earth. Yeah, there's a lot of these. We should really try to take on some of these. Uh, 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 claim merit. We only have one. What was it? I don't really need that. What? Yeah, I was thinking of that one. Oh, that's a good one too. Let's find your item shop. I need to buy shit. This is your item shop? Okay, apparently. Oh, they do have fucking uh, cappuccinos. Okay. So, espressos are the fucking way better ones. Yeah. Oh, we got 50 of them. I'm not too worried about that. Oh, God, that is quite a decent help. Yeah, what the come fucking We'll need to get a lot more. Yeah, that's a full like twenty, yeah. So what I would say, because again we need a lot. We actually have quite a bit of that. It's coffee I'm mainly worried about. The main issue it costs so fucking much just to buy fucking like five. I don't have anything to outright sell, is the main issue. I mean, I could totally fucking sell some shit. Hey, I didn't even look at that. <laughs> I mean, it's way better. I didn't realize that he actually. What the fuck? What? That is like so much fucking better. How the fuck did you pick this up, Swain? 
I mean, I appreciate it, but it's still like fucking. That's like the equivalent of picking up a fucking. I don't know. The only thought. No, even. Because there's shit that's not even that high. 46, not 69. I don't, that's the problem. I literally do not have anything. We get a drill screw. Only thought is if we mix and match, the problem is I don't know what to mix and match. But I don't want to fuck with it. <laughs> what the fuck do you use the hogs go uh, gear for? Isn't it with you? Yeah, hogs cog and that. <sighs> yeah, drill screws. Where the fuck? <sighs> I really should look at it and figure that stuff. Oh, oh, that's right. I can't fucking do anything with them until fucking I get my shit leveled up. Literally just across the corner. Okay, well let's because we're already here. We'll go ahead and save. So we can see how hard it <gasps> we we're in this area. That type of fights are. Stay calm now. Here go. Did you fucking ask me first? I, oh, okay. No, it's not that bad. Okay, maybe it's good. Very nice. Okay, Let's do the XP though. We're getting around 300. Ah, oh, we didn't even get 300 there. We should be fine. No slacking, you lot! I wonder if like, falling down. I think I'm going to try to get hit. Oh, seriously, it's not going to be that bad. At least from what I can gather. Ooh, Dickler is uh, ready to level up. What does he need? A moon? Do we have any moons? We have a moon. Mm, so he either becomes dark or he becomes light. I want light because fucking. The main problem is we need healers. I know he doesn't have that, like, fucking mass, massive of a healing reserve. It's also not a bad idea just to have him actually have some fucking stuff. Damn it. Get up to the next level. I'm sorry, what? Apparently, 
now I fell asleep and I just couldn't explain it. Well, I didn't. Alright, Dickler raised from level 1 to level 6. And I think for the time being it would be not a bad idea to go to end out the video. Thank you guys for tuning in. Like, subscribe, comment down below to see this video. And then have a great day.